Hi guys, welcome to part two of Expert Outpost Guides. So we're going to kick things off with a Snow Schwelder Outpost, which is in the cold area. So I might suggest upgrading your winter clothing through Karush, I think it is. Um, just so you don't even have the cold meter pumping down there. But let's get on with it. So it is a medium outpost, so not too bad. Get off to a flying start as usual. I'm going to repeat a couple of the hints and suggestions from the previous videos just in case this is the first time, but I wouldn't recommend using the Owl's Dive Attack uh, unless you can find someone that's pretty much on the outskirts and won't get affected by someone being killed, but if you're attacking a cage, it'll kind of create the same chaos, the same effect, so I would suggest scouting out first and having a look at the patrol patterns, that kind of stuff. Just to familiarize yourself as much as you can with the layout and the patrol patterns. It is a lot of the time the tactic used on the harder outposts because you really can't get inside them until they've taken at least, well you've taken at least half of the guys out and they're not bunched up. Why I take this third shot at him is beyond me. It was never gonna hit. Tacky, just tacky. Just a word on those enemies with the, the diamonds above their heads. Now, they don't attack you, so they can't damage you, but they are more dangerous than the fact that they are so quick and it's difficult to keep track of them. I would actually make them a priority kill, probably for your beast, because you could probably one, one hit kill them. But I've been, uh, well, at least detected mostly by those guys than anything else, I would say. Next up we have Piki or Paikai Meat Outpost and this is a medium outpost I think, yes it is.
Now this is where the diamond enemies get dangerous because they're running frantically around and I use the sting bomb because that normally kills them in one go and use the beast to take them out because they can sneak up on you so damn quickly. I should never have taken this shot. The arrow was never going to get through his facial armor. I should have used the sling and I was very lucky not to get detected there. The sling is uh, armor piercing and would have killed him with one headshot one time there. And now because of that stupid move, he's getting too close for comfort so send in the kitty. Uh, yeah, and I'm referring to the upgraded sling, not the standard sling. Next up we have Tashwara Outpost. This is a difficulty setting of hard and is an interesting outpost, one of a kind really. So it's a large dome with grass roof and what this means is, well there's caves inside, but what this means is there's only a, a very few exits and entrances on the ground level. So as standard I would implement my chaos traps tactic. So what that includes is setting up traps around the exits and entrances on the doors and then use one of the many methods to create some chaos inside which in turn brings them running out and you can either pick them off or your traps will do it for you.
Now I'm on the other side of the dome compared to where I left my cat. Now I call him and he should come running straight through the whole base and hopefully ruffle some feathers up in there. If not, we'll have to try something else. Then after a short period of time, you should start hearing the traps. Thank you. There's another one. And another one pops. It's quite an effective method, especially when you can't go inside because the tight cornering and the pitch dark it doesn't make for easy stealth and if someone comes around a corner it's game over. It's best in this case to draw them out. Next up we have Tashwara. Now this is a difficulty setting of hard and I found this really hard because again it's, it's, it's a cave and I did the same method with the traps wherever I could but I just couldn't get them to come out so I eventually had to change my strategy and kind of go inside and set traps around the, around the center. Now this entrance I came in here is perfect for the first two kills so this guy is a cover kill and there'll be another one on the left now. So while you're doing this, lay your traps and then stir up the nest. Massive fail on my part here for not tagging these enemies. If you can't use the owl, it's essential. I don't know why I didn't do it, but point your, your weapon at them and it'll mark them.
Next up is Plateau Cave. Now this is also a hard difficulty setting and it's also a cave, not my favorite. So once again, um, I set traps around the outside on the entrances and exits, then kick the hornet's nest. Now this was my second attempt at this cave, so there is a, a bit of exploring, so I apologize for that, but I wanted to make sure there weren't any exits I was forgetting about, or missing at least. Also, be sure to have your upgraded winter clothing from Karush, I think it's Karush, in the crafting menu. Not too difficult to craft, but it relieves a lot of pressure when you're not, when you don't have the cold meter hanging over your head the whole time. A quick lesson on what not to do when attacking an outpost. That. But I think it had the same effect I wanted it to. So, all good.
to Winja. So this is this video winding down. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. And if it did, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe for some more expert Far Cry difficulty settings because I'll be doing guides on pretty much everything in the next couple of weeks. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Guarpati su Winja.